Third period underway. 20 minutes to go here in regulation to what has been a very one-sided affair. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Edmonton's focus now is just locked down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. Connors picking up steam. Here's a short pass to Bear. Slides the puck over. Hammers one at the net. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Scores! Quick blast! No chance! The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Edmonton's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a feeding on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. And it's a quick pass to Yamamoto. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. The Jets have it from the corner. Quick pass to Stastny. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Oilers work it through center. And now it's grabbed by Jones. Directed over to Cahoon. Breakaway! And he comes up with a big stop on the breakaway. Almost like the shooter waited and waited and the opening never came. Taken along the wall by Dreisaitl. Blocked in front. Slides the puck up from the left side. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Oilers have it from their own end. There's the whistle stopping the play. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray. Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. The Jets send their man advantage unit out once more. They've been skunked on the power play so far tonight. So you have a little chat on the bench. Guys, notice some things that the penalty killers do, and you try to adjust one step ahead of them. Puck clears the zone. Winnipeg's gained possession along the boards. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Roslovic's got it in the corner. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Quick feed to Roslovic. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Steps across the blue line. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Picking up some steam at center ice. Smart defensive play there. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Oilers are being called for tripping. As soon as the hands go up when they start to plead with the ref, you know they know they're guilty. Winnipeg's got a five on three, but not a lot of time to work with. Huck retrieval is always a key on a power play, in particular a short five-on-three. You don't want to lose a puck battle and have the five-on-three portion of your power play go away. His reflexes on display tonight. He scores! Putting a special in special team. Well, the coaches have been talking about a few new wrinkles on the power play. They move the puck nicely, and the puck is in the back of the net on the power play. parts to this James he gets himself into the low slot in good position and then he zips a backhander past the tender Winnipeg's got to be thinking more and more offense here now in the third no reason to sit back you're in a hole here you need goals and you need lots of them attack 
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Moves it to Nugent Hopkins. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! He's sharp on this one, out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Oilers will kill off a few extra seconds now, and the puck leaves the zone. The Jets have it against the wall. Angles it over to Connor. Gains the zone through center. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. There's the collision. Shifley's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Oilers will serve two minutes in the box. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. Winnipeg's got a small window with a five on three. Face off win, quick puck movement, quick shot. You don't have much time on the five on three. That's your script. And they managed to clear it. Here's a short pass to Perot. Couldn't make that one happen. Sends it in deep. The Jets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Dished on over to Roslovic. Right in front of the net. Stopped by the goaltender. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here, a little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. They'll play some four on four. I love how four on four play has evolved. It used to be race up the ice and shoot the puck. Now teams and players are way more comfortable holding the puck and waiting for the play to develop. Nice zone entry from the left. Takes it to the front. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Gains the zone from the right side. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Moves it quickly over to Kopp. Takes it across the blue line. And he can't hang on after that hit. Couldn't find the intended target. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Dishes it to Kopp. And now he moves it to Roslovic. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Russell's taking it from his own end. Couldn't complete the play. Fires it into the offensive zone. Winnipeg's got possession while undermanned. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Turris. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. What a steal in his own end. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Connor's such a good goal scorer. It's no surprise that he's among the league leaders in this playoff season in goals. The Oilers continue to lead big here in this third period. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Puts it on net with the stop. Koskinen's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Edmonton's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Shifley's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Dumps it in. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot, and that one's stopped. Battling for it along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Nugent Hopkins brings it in. Picked up along the wall by DeMello. Takes the pass. And the puck skips away after that move. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Taken by Nugent Hopkins. Hangs onto the puck. Comes up with the stop.
And this goalie is so athletic. He covers room in the net even after he's deeped out of position. The setters will glide into the dot. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. The Jets will play it in their own end. Puck picked up by Pionk. With possession along the wall. Gives them nothing in front. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Throws it in. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. That pass doesn't go. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. And the puck's kicked free. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Kara. Scores! And Oil Country has come alive! You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Edmonton's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. The Oilers win the faceoff. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. Sends it quickly to Stastny. He got all of that one. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Stastny. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Forbort. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a short pass to Line A. And pokes inside the offensive end. Can't maintain possession. The Oilers have it now. Puck scooped up by Ennis. Tries to feed it over to Turris. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Perot. The Jets played along the wing. Manages to hang on. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Turris has it along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Russell. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Quick pass to Perot. Receives the pass. And that one's blocked. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Takes the feed. The Oilers gain control of it. Quick feed to pull Yarby. Puck grabbed by Russell. Edmonton's looking to break out. Down the right side and into the zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And that's blocked. And now it's over to Roslovic. Handles the puck from the slot. Blocker saved by Koskinen. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. And he makes the save. Picked up along the boards by Nurse. Nice pass. Moves it to McDavid. Ties him up, and it didn't go unnoticed in the eyes of the officials here. Here comes the call from the official. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box and gets called every time. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Here's a short pass to McDavid. Winnipeg's penalty killers get a hold of it. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Tosses it to Neal, and that pass goes awry. He's got a step. Big time stop. Nose to nose, the goalie comes out better on this chance. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Jets move it ahead. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Bullia. The Jets have it in the offensive end. Scooped up along the wall by DeMello. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Here's a shot. Tremendous stop by Koskinen. Drills him. 
The Oilers don't have time on their side with this power play running out. Edmonton's in now. Nice poke check. Taken by Puyo Yarvi. Made that stop. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. The hitting hasn't let up at all since the beginning of the game. All night, both teams have been on the body. Edmonton's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time, up big time late in this third. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. And mercifully, now just seconds left in this one. Moves it quickly over to Cajon. Gets in front of it. Puck picked up by Pion. Quick pass to Connor. Here's an odd man rush. And that's off the iron. Winnipeg's looking for a little luck here. I mean, they're down by a bunch. They can't even get a bounce their way. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed to Yamamoto. And that one's blocked. Stopped by the goaltender. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. The Jets have it against the wall. Bully has got the puck in his own zone. Quick pass across to Connor. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck along the half wall. Denies him in front. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Big play inside the defensive zone. Accomplished. They're moving on. Moves it to Cassian. Shot right in front. Oh, what a chance. And the goalie catches the break on that. That looked like it beat him, but it's just outside of the cage. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. Ray simply put in this one, dominant. Yeah, coaches love this too because they get to play their whole bench, spread everybody out, and the best part is when you go back to the locker room, everybody feels like they had a part of this blowout win. And time for one of the great traditions in all of sports, the handshake here. Even though there are bitter feelings through the series, it is awesome to go through and show your respect to the winners. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.